Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we are... Hang on. Uh, in today's video, we are doing... Well, learning Python. Well, if you guys want to sign up, there... Well, not sign up, but like... Learn how to do it. Replit. It's really good. Yeah, I got bored, so I'm just eating goldfish. If you hear me chewing every once in a while, that's it. So, we're pretty much going to learn. I'm going to introduce you. So, we are not intermediate. <laughs> Trust me, I suck right now. Uh. Hmm. Yeah, we are going to have some fun. <laughs> Ooh, Python game. Settings. Teams for every education. Let's just go back. I think beginner tutorial is best. Part two, build your own projects. Yay. Okay. Uh, honestly, I can't see how long, here, shift, space, no, okay, I forgot what happened to my, there, okay, I'll just keep that on the side of the screen, forgot what happened to my main website that I used, well, here, you guys can see this, I didn't build it yet, it's just my computer so far. So this is this has just been for a month. So yeah. You know I'll I'll put the donation thing in the bottom. Okay. Beginner to replit. Okay, so I'll read. I hate reading though. Well, I was in Battle of the Books, but I hate. Okay. I won't like read all this. In this lesson, you will learn how to use Replit IDE. It has some features you won't find in many other IDEs. Namely, namely, it's fully online. You can use it from any computer that connect to that can connect to the internet and rub, run a web browser, including fo a phone or a tablet. It is fully man manageable. Okay, <laughs> okay. It is fully manage. It it will fully manage your environment for this building and running a code. You will not to need. You will not need to mess around with making sure that you have the right version of Python. Or the correct Node.js libraries. You can deploy any code you build to the public in one click. No messing around with servers or copying code around. Okay. Well, this is... Oh, we already... I already created an account. Uh, Pains. Okay, right there. You'll see how... You'll see how to configurable... Okay, I'm not even going to try reading those words. Replit, and how most things can be moved around to suit your fancy. However, by default, you'll be able to fo get the following layout. So, you'll pretty much be able to print, like, the run button up here. You can click, and then it will run it here. I'll just get another. Um, uh, where is it? Uh, templates. Nope, wrong thing. Create, right there. Python. Okay, so I'll keep this open. Here, so... Okay, so I'll write down some things uh for make sure none of your stuff is uppercase because watch what happens when it's uppercase
Yeah, see? So whenever you make it lowercase, it will automatically just do that. Oop, burn thing. Hit run. Hi. So we'll learn about like variables, how to do math with this. So print's exactly like math. You could do math with print. I think it will show you that soon. So watch. Oh, I accidentally did equals, not plus. Wrong thing. I keep hitting enter to do it. 14. Oh, I didn't even... There. So, then you can... So, you know, this thing, I forgot what it's called, but that's how you multiply. So, 4 times 10 is 40. And if you want to do, like, 4 to the power of 10, you have to do two of those. So, pretty much how to do it is do the power, or how to do this symbol is pretty much do shift on 8. Yeah, that's 4 to the power of 10. And then, to do division is this. That should be like, yeah, point four. Oh, I did it backwards. That's why. And then, obviously, plus. And then, it should do the same for minus. That's a wrong symbol. I keep doing that. Enter and then... And then six. Yeah, it also counts like neg negative six. It will still do that. I already taught you how to do math already, so we can skip that part. Okay. Running a code from replets REPL. Oh gosh. Okay. Oh, so we're trying to print uh, equals that. Okay, so plus that would equal... Okay, so this is the code right here. So those little orange things are the code. And then the no orange means what it will print. So, watch. See how they didn't include the... Yeah, see? Um, solve, oh, okay, oh, this is fun, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> solve, okay, 5x to the power of 2, 5x, here, I'll just copy and paste this, nope, I can't, okay, so 5x to, Okay, hashtags, you can type anything and it won't bother your code, see? See? So, hashtags are for, like, taking notes, like this. See? So, I don't feel like doing that because that's a little complicated. <laughs> okay. Solver PY. Oh, so for this, you can make new files. So, this is like your file list. And you can easily do that. Well, I don't feel like doing math right now. That's... Um... So, from solver, import solve quatric, which the answer equals solve quatrix 5, 6, and 1, and then print the answer. So, if my quatrix are here, solve quatric, quadric. Okay. And, oh. I feel like I spelled that wrong. <laughs> Very wrong. Okay. So, equals, so. 
I'm pretty sure it's solve quatrick or yeah. Underscore Q U oh Q U Q U A Okay, so if my quad trick is one, four, or two, five, and then print answer. Oop. Oop, wrong thing. Okay. Yeah, I did that wrong. How did I do it wrong? Okay, it's that I forgot to add the first line. Okay, so the first line is from solver import. import from solver import solve quatrick underscore quatrick oop I did that backwards quad So, if I did that correctly, oh, they, <laughs> okay, don't yell at me. Huh. Updating package, resolving, these depends. Okay, so, we'll see if theirs works, hopefully it does. Here, so I'll put hashtags in front of all this for now. I'll get rid of the hashtags, but I want to see if theirs works. V. Uh. Okay, let's just read a little more. <laughs> okay demo project so oh it's because they put okay no one is here okay so you can invite friends by the invite button up there print end okay so Oh, so the, your friends, okay, so your friends, you can play together to where it will, like, yeah, <laughs> Python, huh, wonder what happened with mine, maybe I just did it wrong, where next, okay, so, Okay. <laughs> what did I do wrong? What about the shell? Okay. We're next. Okay, so that's the introduction. Okay. So I'll, just, I'll go till 20. So just forget about the math. I know it's a little overpowering. Okay, so. Let's just do the basic prints for now. Okay, so print. Oop. 
Um, and then you can do the slash R. Oh. How did I do it wrong? Oop, wrong thing. And then do plus. Then Oh, that just, oh, it's period. Nope. Okay, what did I do wrong? Oh, did I do the slash wrong? Is it supposed to go like that? How did I do that? <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> I've never done that. So I guess whenever you do the backslash, it will pretty much put this. So watch, I could mix this word together. Goodo. Okay, that's close enough. <laughs> it's not even good rally. Okay, I'm not even. I spelled it exceptionally wrong. Okay. Good old see you later. Okay, so if I Okay. And see you later. That is the that is the here. I'll, what I'll do now till 20, I'll just you guys can pause the video for each one. So you guys can pause the video right there. Right there. Right there. Right there. Right there. Right there. right there right there right there right there right there right there oh my gosh and 